What's up guys, my name is Brandon and I am one of the three awesome gamers and looky looky what I got here Yet again another Moab And this Moab I got on Outpost as you can see Outpost Probably one of my favorite maps for quickscoping slash sniping But Usually for rushing like my aggressive playstyle it's like terrible for me So I was surprised that I actually got this But I had just prestige, I'm on my ninth prestige now and I had the MP7 from a uh, unlock gear token, and I was using Slate of Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro, Stalker Pro. I wasn't even running Assassin, and I was running Assault, and I got this Moab. So this was a pretty nice one. This is probably my second best behind my MSR Moab, and this was quite a quite an easy one actually. I had a pretty pretty good team. Just the game before, I went 46 and 3, and my teammate was like, he's like, dude, you're such a beast, blah, 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 and then I was like, thanks, man, and then we're in the same lobby, and he's on my team, his name's like AC and Killer, or something like that, so, yeah, he was, he just told me about how I was a beast, and I was like, oh, thanks, and we go into this game, and I absolutely dominate and get a Moab, but, anywho, um, for for this video, I just wanted to give you guys some tips, pointers, stuff like that to help you guys get a Moab if you haven't gotten one. You know, just general tips, or if you have gotten one but you want better tips, uh, yeah, you're at the right place now. So, first tip, I honestly, if you're going to camp, use an assault rifle if you're going to rush some machine gun. I mean, that's kind of like basic. But, um, if you're gonna rush like I do, I, I'd recommend using the PP90, the P90, or the MP7. Those are the two top three submachine guns, in my opinion. <clears throat> so, yeah, definitely definitely try to use a, uh, like, did I say light machine guns? Submachine guns, in my opinion. I don't know. <clears throat> so, uh, once you got that, you want to make sure you have the submachine gun leveled up a little bit. Because if you have a level one submachine gun... You're not going to have uh, any attachments on it. And I think that silencers are a must when going for Moabs. You just need to have that kind of stealth factor. So when you're spraying at a guy behind him, he won't know that you're spraying at him. So if you miss a couple bullets, it won't really matter as long as you get the kill. So, yeah. And if you can, try to use atta uh, two attachments with uh, extended mags. Extended mags will help you out in situations where there's a large crowd and you need to wipe them out quick. And without having to reload in the middle of it. So, <clears throat> in this game, I'm only using a uh, silencer on my MP7, but I pick up tons of different guns. So, it's not all MP7, but... Uh, also, what you want to do is, if you can, try to use specialist setup instead of uh, assault or support. If you use specialist, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. So, um, I, I'd recommend to use uh, Hardline Pro as your default perk, so you can earn this uh, specialist perks quicker. And also for your specialist perks, so if you're running Hardline, you're gonna want to use uh, uh, Assassin Pro as your first earned perk. So it kind of makes up for that. So right when you get your first kill or first point, you're set. So you can use a stealth factor again. And for your second two, that's kind of up to you. I'd recommend the I'd recommend you use Scavenger Pro. Or just even Scavenger if you got that. Because you know, once you if you don't like picking up enemy weapons, you're gonna need to, you know, get that ammo back. And the only way that you can do that do that is oh my gosh, my voice cracks so much. The only way you can do that is if you're running Scavenger Pro as your primary or your normal perk. Or if you can earn it in your specialist perks, so I'd recommend to do that. And then if you if you made that your th your second unlock perk, then I'd your uh, third un unlock perk is basically up to you. Like whatever you want, it's it's all right. You know whatever you feel comfortable, and it it really depends on your play style. You know the type of gun you're using. I I honestly I hate air support, so I use blind eye. And that usually helps me out, so once I get to that 5, I know I can run around and continue to rush when there's a helicopter in the air. Or predator missiles. So, 
that's just my special setup. Now for now now that we're done with setup, well secondary I secondary is pretty much up to you again. I wouldn't use any launchers. I'd stick to the pistols or more likely the machine pistols. So yeah, definitely definitely try to use a machine pistol. And that does it for the class setup. Now for the game style, if you if you wanna rush a lot, cause like I I find camping Moabs to be very boring. If I'm just sitting in one place, aiming on sight with a baby monitor to my right, claymore to my left, you know that that's really boring to me. So I would definitely try rushing around. But if if you wanna camp, I mean that's that's cool. It's just up to you, really. Any any Moab you get, it's up to you how you want to get to it. So just keep that in mind. These are just pointers. These are just suggestions for you guys to get your Moabs. So, uh, but if you do rush, failed predator. If you do rush, I'd recommend you to stay to the sides or the edges of the map. But you you gotta keep you gotta keep your back to. You gotta keep your back to walls. You can't get caught offside, and you just gotta, you just gotta be, just you just gotta be ready. Like you can, if you're playing domination, you can get a general idea of where they're spawning at. And oh my gosh, I, I thought that guy was gonna kill me and take away my Moab. But yeah, you got if you, you play domination, you can get a general idea of where they're spawning at. So you can either spawn trap them and get that Moab. Uh, you can either spawn trap them, or you can just, you know, like, avoid that area if you're trying to camp. And, uh, sorry, I'm drawing a blank. And if you, I hate drawing blanks like this. Just, just, uh, so, got that enemy mode. But, um, yeah, if you're gonna camp, I'd recommend you use a motion sensor, or most, I, I don't know what it's called portable radar I think I I never like pay attention to what it's called so uh stuff from my second death right there it sucks but I, I'd recommend you use a portable radar and maybe a bouncing Betty or Claymore so that that definitely help you out and if you don't have portable radar unlocked I'd recommend to use the trophy system the trophy system will save you maybe a grenade grenade death or something like that and here I started dying a lot and I was kind of disappointed because this kind of you know I, I could have gone like 70 and 1 but instead I keep dying here and I go 68 and 5 so it, it kind of messes up the gameplay a little bit I was a little disappointed in myself so uh, but anyways it's completely up to you how you want to get your Moab it's your choice you play how you want to play if you want to use support you support if you want to use assault you support assault this time I used assault because I had to, but I would usually no run specialists. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my fifth, sixth, or seventh Moab, something like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.